All right, guys, how's it going? So yesterday, news came out that Joe Gomez uh, wasn't involved uh, in the Liverpool squad, because Rafa Benitez would say, <laughs> for sure. Uh, he wasn't involved in the squad uh, for the game at Ipswich uh, and was trying to sort out his future. Uh, this didn't come as a surprise to me, and it would have come as a surprise to you uh, if you're a Cop Talk VIP member or a follower uh, of coptalk.tv, uh, this channel uh, on YouTube. Did you know if you type in www.coptalk.tv, it brings you right here? Fucking clever me, you know. Anyway, uh, you won't have been surprised. Uh, you know, we've got someone that's close to Joe Gomez. Uh, and when the news came out about him being offered to Newcastle uh, as part of that attempt to sign Anthony Gordon, uh, the shit hit the fan a little bit, uh, to be honest with you. And uh, without going into too much detail, um, there were suggestions or feelings that Liverpool hadn't handled the situation well in terms of Joe Gomez being available. And what I mean by that is when a player is made available or told, oh, you're going to be included in this deal, possibly, uh, you know, it doesn't just affect a player, it affects their families, right? You Maybe your wife, you know, your girlfriend, your kids. You know, you might have just signed your kids up to a school, for example, because, you know, your club might have told you, no, you're in our plans. You know, and Joe Gomez and his family are very committed to the club and very committed to the city. And, um, yeah, there was just, let's just say that there was a feeling, uh, allegedly rumoured, whatever you want to uh, say, uh, that, the, uh, that Joe Gomez and his uh, immediate family felt a little bit let down by Liverpool. Now, you know, this is a business. Right, you know what I mean. Liverpool Football Club uh, is a business. If they want to sell you, they will sell you. Just like if a player wants to leave, they look after their own interests. So the club is well within its rights to do what the fuck it wants, really. If you want to be like that, but then there has to be that, like you know, how you act. Do you know what I mean? Like so, it's a bit off. Maybe if you say to someone, "No, you're part of our plans. You're part of your plans," and then you go off and commit to something for your family, your kids, or whatever. Uh, could be a school, you know, maybe put them in a certain school and then a few weeks later they say, actually, we've changed our mind. You're like, well, hang on a minute, I've just... Do you know what I mean? I think it's one of those kind of situations, guys. Um, Joe Gomez, for me, uh, is a professional. He doesn't moan. He's a very versatile player. Uh, you know, he's happy to, to call, you know, step in when, when, when needed. Uh, not the best footballer in the world, don't think he'd say he is, but he's a professional. Uh, and I wish we had more Joe Gomez's, to be honest with you. And I know what you're thinking, oh, sell him, you know, we can get Inacio. No, that's all very well if that happens. Um, we'll speak about Inacio in another video. Um, but what I'm saying is, like, it's, yeah, you can sell players like that, but it's also, like, a little bit difficult to bring someone in that's a bit versatile and willing to, you know, not be included all the time. It can be a little bit difficult, but it's business. And if Liverpool can get £40 million for him or something, I think they were on about 45 in the Newcastle deal, you can see why they would do it, right? So, um, yeah, you know, at the end of the day, I wasn't surprised. Um, I'm not surprised. Uh, I like the kid. Uh, Liverpool are trying to raise money, which I, don't, I get this feeling they're trying to get some money in to go for maybe a, a big, big bid somewhere. And that maybe sounds a little bit dream worldy, you know, like, oh, let's hope it's that. I'm not, I'm not trying to, you know, uh, will anything to happen, but it makes, I just keep thinking, are they trying to get all these deals done to fund the move for Anthony Gordon? That's what I keep thinking. I uh, just don't know. Luis Diaz is still at the club. Who knows? Um, so, you know, if they, if they sell Joe Gomez and let's hope it funds something else, you know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, I, I, all I'm doing is passing on what uh, I believe to be the vibe. Uh, and that is that uh, people associated to Joe Gomez, it could be Joe Gomez himself. I'm just saying people associated to Joe Gomez uh, feel that the club have, have let them down a little bit with the way they've handled the situation. But I'm sure most fans don't care about that. I do, I do, um, but it's business, it's business, right, and um, I'm sure everyone's all right. Uh, I've seen suggestions that Joe Gomez was looking for a move, and what I, I will never believe that, you know, from the people that are close to him, they've said he, want, he didn't want to leave, he doesn't want to leave, uh, he's settled, he's committed to the club, his family has settled, and they've recently made commitments to the area, uh, further commitments, so I don't believe that, if, if you hear that, I would... Uh, well, I can't tell you what to, to, to dismiss or whatever. You, you form your own opinions. But uh, if I see those claims over the coming weeks, I won't believe them uh, at all. So, no shock there, Joe Gomez. Let's see what happens. 
Um, I, I'm sure, like me, you know, you, you'll be. I'm sure you'll agree with me. Like, look, we just want the club to to handle things correctly. If we can get top dollar for a, a utility player that's not figuring much, then maybe if it funds uh, something else. But the the key bit here is if it funds something else. I think. All right, guys. So I just want to put my thoughts out there. Um, you know, we've spoke about Joe Gomez before. Uh, but if you're new to my channel, maybe you didn't know any of that uh, that vibe, that feeling. Um, so yeah, this is football and sometimes it's ruthless. And let's not forget when players want to dictate, they dictate. Uh, and my allegiance is with Liverpool Football Club and not any one particular, particular player, uh, no matter how much I like them. All right. So if you uh, appreciate this video, please thumbs up the video. Please drop me a comment. Um, and uh, if you want to buy me a beer or a coffee, you can hit the super thanks button, the love heart under the video. And I'll give you a shout out in tomorrow morning's briefing. And if it's not there, you know, you can, there's other mess, there's other ways of supporting the channel in the video description. All right, guys, I uh, hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, I plan to be back live with you tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. UK time on Monday.